What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So the last video you guys have watched is, you know, from the Buck Motorsports Park. They had that Trucker's Day at the Buck. We had a blast. Unfortunately, I didn't do a lot of vlog style filming and talking. We were just kind of getting into the action and it was a late day for us and busy. So kind of was what it was. But today's the next day. It's Sunday. My dad and I picked something up yesterday morning uh, before the truck show. That's kind of what put us behind. So I'm here today at his house. He's down the shore for the week. So me and my buddy Jesse are going to surprise him with a couple things. But we're going to bring you guys along for the little process of it because we're going to kind of prank my dad towards the end. So I think it's going to be hilarious. But I want to show you guys what we picked up yesterday because this thing is just a unit. So look, look here behind me. Oh, man. Thing's great. So yeah, let's, uh, let's take a peek at this thing. So we just picked this thing up yesterday. We don't know too much about it. Uh, runs well. We drove it like 20 minutes to get here on the highway. So it did good on the highway, did good on the small streets. It's a 5.7, I guess 350 Chevy with a fuel injected with a turbo 350. So it's a three speed, it's a bit of a downfall, but you know, they say they're reliable trains, so that's good there. But we'll decide on that stuff later as far as, you know, what we want to do with it to, if we really want to take it that far. But for the game plan for the thing is just to kind of Get it you know back in motion it says it's last inspected in 19 so it's been sitting for a couple years but like i said it runs good we're gonna try to get some power to it and see what works and what doesn't work and get the ac working and go through it and test drive it local and then be able to take it to shows and stay overnight and kind of enjoy this thing at truck shows and just kind of have somewhere comfortable to be all the time so i love that you know everything turns into beds uh like i just showed you guys you know looking at this thing so it sleeps six they say does have a toilet and a small bath. Um, you have a stove, microwave, fridge, freezer, the whole whole deal. So it's really cool. Um, you know, smaller end motorhome. It's not nothing huge. It's an 88. You know, a little bit older. That's how we like it. But we plan on dressing this thing up with watermelons and just kind of really making it cool. So I'm super excited for this thing. Um, so the game plan for today was to wash it. But it doesn't, like, it's not real dirty. Um, now, the front top is the worst. Like, Jesse and I were looking at the sides, like, it's not, it doesn't really need to be washed that bad. But the top in the front here, I'll show you guys, that's pretty uh, pretty dirty up there. So that's about like, maybe they just didn't care to wash up there before they sold it. But the rest of it looks like it was washed. So we might just kind of clean the top, maybe spray the side, you know, touch it up just to see, you know, just clean it anyway. And then the thing about like pranking my dad and everything is gonna be good guys. So he's been telling me that you know, to do my part with this thing, not only pay my half, but help him, you know, everything else to store it here. He wants to clean up his little junk pile. You know, he's got an old deck that's been there since he bought the property and an old R model hood and some other stuff. So Jesse and I are gonna try to load all that stuff up on the trailer that I backed in here in the beginning. And I'm gonna get rid of all that for him. You know, me and him talked about where he wants it to go and what we're doing with it. So I'm gonna get that out of here for him to surprise him. But then the joke about it is Jesse and I are gonna set up the RV in that area and make it look like I'm setting up shop to live there because it's got like a concrete pad to the back door. So I'm going to pretend as, you know, I could go right in the house and hook up to the hose and everything else. So we're going to, you know, put a little AstroTurf down or something, put a little fence. It's going to be funny. So my dad gets home from the shore next week. He can come in. I can show him and he'll be like, what do you think you're moving in? Like, you ain't living here. Or he's going to be like, dude, this is awesome. Yeah, you're living. So who knows? But it'll be funny. So that's the game plan, guys. So I just thought it'd be funny for you guys to, you know, share this laugh, you know, with my dad. So yeah. Uh, Let's get the pressure washer out, let's get this thing washed, and make something happen. So as you guys can see, it was very black before I started. 
I figured I'd write only four trucks up there. It would look cool. But I didn't plan on watching the whole roof. But I feel like I have to now. So just to show you guys. Uh, Unfortunately, my camera died, and I left my batteries and charger for that camera in the blue truck from yesterday. So, on a GoPro, we are. But uh, we got the top all cleaned and down the front, and we pressure washed the rest of it just because of the residual rundown and dirt. Um, we tried some purple. What's that? Purple power? I don't want to. I think that's what it's called. Zep. Zep. Zep brand. It's like purple degreaser, and then we use simple green as well. The brush. It got some of it, but not good enough. So we're gonna look at different options to try to clean it better and brighten it. Uh, you know, just overall like sitting soot kind of, you know, that algae buildup kind of feel. So either way, but it's pretty clean. We're happy with it. Um, we're gonna work on moving this in the cab over and getting the truck trailer back where we need it to start loading that stuff from that area. So we can park this in his new home, put a fence around it, and that's my new front yard. <laughs> I, I just can't wait to see his reaction when he gets home. Is he going to love it or is he going to hate it? You know, it's, there's no in-between with him ever, so it would be funny. But, uh, yeah, Jesse and I are also going to pull the doghouse off inside there so we can look at the motor, give it a good tune-up soon and all that stuff. So, but for now, little rinse is done. That's all we wanted, just to get a feel for what it's going to take to get this thing really nice. So, that's game plan, guys. So, yeah, let's move stuff around and part two. All right, guys, so we just picked this deck up, and we have a bunch of possums, little baby. There's a big one over here. I feel bad we took his home. Right there. There's a little baby. I don't want to separate them from, you know what I mean? From we'll, the other. They'll find, they'll find each other. Tell him, Jesse. He's like, ah, how heavy is this? I was like, I'm afraid what's under it. I wasn't thinking possible. Wow. Ah, boy. We gotta get them out somehow. And the dad just left them there. <laughs> he just rolled out on them, dude. And uh, he stuck around for so much longer than I thought. I don't see the other one that was here. Yeah, I don't either. It was behind it. That's a shame. Sorry to take their home, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, I don't know where the other one went. That's nuts. Like not defensive at all. The mom just left them there. Dad or whatever it is, just took off. All right, guys, well, we're going to figure out what we're going to do here. I don't know. We were able to get the uh, possums just kind of pushed, and they ran across the way to the next yard over. And then we found one snake over here, and we kind of lost him in the movement. We weren't paying attention. And then there was this one. Check him out. He's just kind of hanging out down on the board there. It's a shame I don't have my camera battery, so you got to go on the GoPro, but you guys can see him. It's pretty cool. Friendly little fella, I'm sure. We were just surprised at how many different creatures were under here. The worm. Interesting looking little snake though, color wise. That's crazy, we didn't even see him at first. Yeah, it like blends in with the wood a little bit. There's so many grasshoppers. Uh, we gotta sweep and shovel all this up and clean it. So, oh, you knocked the snake off. Oh, I mean to. He's alright. I just need to see what was under. There he goes. Home free, fella. The our idea is to jack the trailer in here, and then we'll just lay the deck right down on the trailer. That's the game plan. So see how that works. Stay up there, we can drag 
<laughs> oh man, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm looking so elite. I'm getting pulled over. We got Jesse over there edging up around the concrete. Um, so it ain't perfect, but it's light years better than what we started with. You know, we got that deck up, got all everything out of the way, got where we need it. Quick pressure wash deal. We broke out, you know, my dad's lawnmower and cut the grass where I could for now, and then I cut the grass where the cab over is going to go. So we will put the cab over in its place, cut the rest of the grass, get the camper parked where it's uh, my new home is going to be. So it's going to be good, guys. So. Trying to keep you guys along filled in. Um, yeah, let's keep going, let's get this done. So guys, there is a vacuum leak that was causing this thing to idle very poorly, but we didn't know what it was at the time, like when we were yesterday and this morning. But Jesse and I were bored a little bit ago and we pulled off this doghouse cover, I think I told you guys that earlier, and this choke pull off is busted. So when you hold it in position, it smooths out and runs great. So I don't know how well you'll be able to hear it, but let's see if you can tell. moves right out and then smooths right out so that's what we got to fix on this but for now it'll run I mean you give it some gas it's okay but yeah I'm gonna give Jesse the camera so you guys can watch me park this thing and that's the game plan guys Well, pull back up. Let me get that block out of there. All right, back up.
That's good. That's good. Good, good. No. Good. Even with the curb? Yep. There you go. So now we got a patio. Yeah, open this <laughs> bad girl up. Step right on in, you know. Right to the patio. We got access to the laundry room. We got wash and dryer downstairs. <laughs> this is so good. We're gonna find something to put there to make it look. <laughs> We got a step. <laughs> That's awesome. A little yard art. That is so funny. It's going to be great when he sees it. But I'm either going to find some, like, because we have a week before he gets back, right? So I'm either going to find something along the way. He also just found something in his house some like temporary little fence kind of stuff with a little fake gate and all that so if i could borrow his for the for the joke or i'll find some somewhere whatever but we're just going to try to find all kinds of stuff to make it funny you know like this for instance see this thing i'll try to like it's in the front yard you know so that, <laughs> i got a walkway here to head around <laughs> but it's just funny guys i think it'll be good i think the old man's gonna lose it when he sees i'm setting up shop like we'll have to roll this awning out Sorry guys, I kind of took you away there. Yeah, like I set the awning out. <laughs> look, it looks like we're staying. You know, I think it's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be filming more throughout the week as we finalize this deal. And then you'll get to see his reaction and then this will be posted. So yeah, we'll get there. All right guys, unfortunately, I didn't really film much during the week. I only set up a few things. I had a lot going on this week, but I just got it all finished up. He should be here in the next 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm pretty excited, but I figured I'd give you guys a little rundown on what I got going on here. Uh, move his little charger. But so I got this trash can, all right? And unfortunately I didn't have anywhere better to put the sign, but I think that'll work. Maybe we'll go there with that. But I got the trash can, all right? Little mailbox. And I added a .5 onto his address there. So that's like funny. And that's all just sitting there, by the way. It's not mounted. I got a little decor going on, right? I got my water hose ran as if it is hooked up, but it's not doing anything. And then I have these two chairs that I don't even have a chance to rinse off because of the grass and stuff. A little table, a little welcome mat. And then I got a cousin hooked me up with the flag. You got the hood there for yard art. But I mean, it looks pretty, looks like I'm setting up shop here. You know, it looks pretty homey. Oh, and I got home sweet home hanging on the mirror. So it's going to be great. So I have a couple GoPros. I got one up there. I got one on the tire. And then I have one on the cab over right there. So hopefully we'll see his reaction and go from there. I'm pretty excited. Um, I hope, you know, he gets a kick out of it. So we'll see. Um, hopefully it's, it was worth it, you know, because he's such a hit or miss kind of guy. He's either going to love it, hate it. He's either going to go crazy and give a good reaction or he's not. I mean, it's, there's no telling with this guy. So yeah, I'm going to finalize a couple things, just kind of get the cameras ready and see you guys soon. Like under there? Yeah. Okay. It ain't too big. No, I've been setting up shop. This ain't bad at all. No. What the neighbors say now? Not they love it. We're new now neighbors. <laughs> I already got mail coming. I'm squatting now. You got mail? Yeah, mailbox and all. I'm ready to it's not, I thought this was worse under here. Oh, it was pretty rough. It, 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 it wasn't easy. No, but I could just drill holes and fill it up with shh. That's what Jesse said. I don't know where to get that shit. Wonder if we could just fucking get it kind of like pry it up. I would break it. I'd like to film my here. Yeah, but it's hard. I don't know if it works under here. You gotta get that good shit. How are you trying to put your phone? Oh, you got monsters in there. What about hooking this up? Does it work? 
Really? I'm living. I'm telling you. Where you got the electric run to? Yeah, I'm yeah, I got, I got water going on. You go come to sewer pipe. ready to rock. No sewer yet. No sewer yet. I go inside. You can pay back here. Ah, oh, you got the key? Where'd you get the key at? I'm sorry, I don't know. It's the back door. All right. <laughs> I've been like Flint, dude. It's cold there. No, it's nice, dude. dude it's running. God, bro, it's cold there. Really? Yeah. Anyway, I know. I was just hoping you'd lose it, <laughs> but you didn't lose it. What, I had you mad? all. Yeah, look, I had you all set up. What to get mad? Look, there's one. <laughs> Ready? This guy had no idea. Two. Oh man. Three. Jesus Christ. I was thinking you were gonna be like, "What is this?" Like I'm moving in. Nah, dude, that's but, cool. Nah, it didn't, didn't work out. I told you guys you probably like it. I knew that was coming. That's just sitting there, by the way. That's fine. Like it ain't. It's just that that post was on top of your deck. Where did you get the mailbox? Home Depot. You I bought that 220 plug and I had to return it. So I had 22 dollars to spend Home Depot. So I bought the mailbox at that time. The mailbox is sitting there. <laughs> but you see the address on there? Yeah, I seen it. Point five. Living. See, so yeah, we'll get back to you guys in a little bit. I just had to let him know that I was recording them, but. I told you it wasn't going to be that great because he's just too expected of everything. But yeah, we're going to take over this thing for a minute and get back to you guys. Well, guys, unfortunately, we didn't do a whole lot of filming. We were kind of just all over the place today, bouncing around, doing different things, catching up and playing with this in the meantime throughout the day. But Jesse ended up coming by and me and my dad working on the camper. So what we got done was we ended up pulling the fridge out because the fridge wouldn't work. I believe that's because I fed this thing 220 when it's supposed to take 110 and I didn't know. So... We removed the fridge, as you see, the fridge is out. And we also filled this thing up with water and drained everything and cleaned it. So whoever owned it before, they had already cleaned out the tank for the toilet and all that stuff. So that was clean, had blue stuff in there. We drained that and put new in and cleaned it and all that good stuff. So everything's cleaned out, everything works. The fridge is out. We just went and priced out and looked at fridges at Home Depot. So we got a perfect fit there, we're excited. Uh, got the microwave out because we're replacing that and currently these guys are putting wiper blades on it But uh, yeah, had a good day overall uh, making some progress on this thing getting it ready uh, Hopefully beginning of October. We're gonna be taking it to Gerhardt's sleep there for the weekend. That's the game plan. So That's what we're doing for now. I know it was not too much in this video But just give you guys something just to show what we got going on and you'll be seeing plenty more of this thing as we get it ready for truck shows and clean it up and do different things so people better start complaining of coming to get videos out faster. Yeah, yeah. we had we had a rough time there, a little start drought, pitching. but start pitching. We're working on it. We're working on it. I've been been on his ass, so that he has. Too slow on the videos. He ain't helping either, you know. One man band over here. So we're getting there, guys. Getting myself in a rhythm. Gonna get my laptop fixed, and I can start editing in this thing. That's the goal. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Later. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, brother, over here.